Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. For the Lord is in his holy temple, let all the earth keep silence before him. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning clothed in our right mind with a reasonable portion of health and strength. We pray right now, O God, that you would open up our hearts, minds, and ears to receive your word on today. Create in us, O God, a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us as we study your word on today. We ask, Lord God, that the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts are acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Give us thy word on today, Lord God, so that we may know the truth and be set free by it. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen. The subject of our text today, saints, is entitled, The Word, God's Perfect Valentine for the Believer. Again, that subject is, The Word, God's Perfect Valentine for the Believer. Our text today comes from Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5, Matthew chapter 22, verse 37, Mark chapter 12, verses 30 and 31, and Luke 10 and 27, and also John 15 and 13. I'll be reading from the Amplified Version. Deuteronomy 6 and 5 says, And ye shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart and mind, and with your entire being, and with all your might. Matthew 22, 37 says, And he replied to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind, intellect. Mark twelve thirty and 31 says, And you shall love the Lord your God out of and with your whole heart and out of and with all your soul, your life, and out of and with all your mind with your faculty of thought and your moral understanding and out of and with all your strength. This is the first and principal commandment. Luke 10, 27 says, And he replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. Finally, John fifteen thirteen says, No one has greater love, no one has shown stronger affection than to lay down, give up his own life for his friends. Before we examine our text, saints of God, I want to pose a question for you all to consider. Did anyone notice anything in particular about our text scriptures? If you paid close attention, you will discover that the commandment of loving the Lord our God with all of our hearts, minds, strength, and souls is repeated four times in our text. As a matter of fact, every scripture, with the exception of John 15.13, repeats the same commandment but in slightly different words. Why is this particular commandment repeated so often in Scripture? The answer is because God wants us to be forever reminded to love Him with every fiber of our being and not get caught in the material holiday known as Valentine's Day. Every year, greeting card companies, flower shops, candy stores, jewelry stores, and even toy stores who make stuffed animals and other toys relating to Valentine's Day make huge fortunes during this time of year because people are going out of their way and sometimes beyond their financial means to find the perfect Valentine's Day gift for their spouses, children, or significant others. In our text today, we will realize a very important truth that we do not have to wait until February 14th to show someone that we love them, but instead we can express our love in other ways that doesn't have to break the bank, so to speak. 
There is nothing wrong with showing the person you love that you care about them, but we must do so responsibly so that we won't go beyond our means. In other words, if you are on a budget or a fixed income, why would you spend thousands of dollars on a gift for just one day? True love has no price tag and there is no charge, as Pastor Shirley Caesar puts it when it comes to real love. The same is true about God's love, saints of God. It is truly a free gift to all if we choose to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior of our lives. You have to know without a shadow of a doubt that the Word of God is God's perfect valentine to the believer because His Word contains His divine plan and will for our lives. If only we would read it and study for ourselves. Study to show thyself approved. Workmen need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. We are so busy with so many other things that we fail to accept God's perfect valentine, his word, and have forgotten about this great commandment, you shall love the Lord your God with all your mind and heart and with your entire being and with all your might. How quickly have we forgotten to love God and he will show us how to love our significant others, our spouses, our children, our loved one, and even our enemies. Amen. The word, God's perfect valentine to the believer. As I prepare to close this message, we will learn the acronym VALENTINE, V-A-L-E-N-T-I-N-E, -E, which stands for the Word, God's perfect valentine to the believer, because the Word of God is the best gift that we can ever receive in this life. Please pay, pay close attention to every letter in the acronym Valentine, because every letter of the Word can be found in the Word of God. It is only through the Word that we have V, which stands for victory in Christ Jesus. Deuteronomy 24, Romans 8, 31 and 37, 1 Corinthians 15 and 57, Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. It is only through the Word that we know that A, stands for all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8 and 28. It is only through the word that we can experience a L, a love like no other. John 3, 16, John 15, 13, Romans 5, 8, 1 John 4, 19. It is only through the word that we know our true purpose in E, which stands for evangelism, preaching and teaching the gospel to every living creature. Isaiah 6, 8 through 9, Jonah 1, 1 through 2, Ezekiel 3, 17 through 20, Matthew 8, I'm sorry, Matthew 28, 18 through 20, Mark 16, 15 through 16 and 1 Corinthians 1 17 and 18. It is only through the word that we know that N stands for nothing tears us apart. Mark 10 and 9, Romans 8 31 through 39. When times get rough, we can always T, which stands for trust in the Lord, for He is our rock. And our anchor. Psalms 23, 1 through 6. Psalms 27, 1 through 14. Psalms 118, 8 and 9. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. Isaiah 41 and 10. When our earthly friends forsake us, we can find I, which stands for intimacy with God. A close relationship with the one who will never leave us nor forsake us. Deuteronomy 6 and 5. 
Psalms 51, 1 through 19, Psalms 63, 1 through 11, Isaiah 65 and 24, Jeremiah 29 and 11, Philippians 3 and 10, James 4 and 8, and Hebrews 13 and 5. When the devil is trying to kill us, we know that in stands for no weapon formed against us shall prosper, for greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Isaiah 54, 17, 1 John 4 and 4. When this life is over, we can be confident in knowing that E stands for every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Isaiah 45, 23, Romans 14, 11, and Philippians 2, 10 through 11. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, intellect, and with all your might, with every amount of strength you have. Because while you're rushing to the stores to find the perfect valentine for your loved ones, I came by to tell you that the word is God's perfect valentine to the believer, and it's been right here the whole time. You don't need any money, checkbook, or credit card, because the word is a free gift to all. And all we have to do is pick it up and read it for ourselves. Why does it take February 14th to show someone that you love them? Love thy neighbor as you love yourself. You should be having a Valentine's Day party every day of the year by loving one another, by treating people right, by helping someone you need, by showing true and genuine Christian love to our brothers and sisters in Christ. But instead, we're off doing other things and we're too busy to do the things of God. The word is and will always be the perfect valentine for the believer because it is a true example for God's love for us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 And finally we close out this message with this. Greater love have no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends. No greater love than the love of Jesus Christ. No greater love than his word is our perfect valentine whenever we're going through the struggle, when we feel like we can't make it, all we got to do is pick that Bible up. If it has a little dust on it, dust it off, open it up, and read what thus says the Lord. And we will have the answer to all of life's most difficult questions. The word. God's perfect valentine for the believer. At this time, we will extend the invitation to Christian discipleship. There may be someone right now who needs a relationship with Jesus Christ. We encourage you as soon as possible to find a Bible teaching church where you can be under the covering of a pastor or a shepherd. We also encourage you that if you don't have a church home, to find one as soon as possible so that a pastor can have an account for your eternal soul. There it is, saints of God, our message today. The word, God's perfect valentine for the believer. Father, today we thank you. We thank you, God, for your word. We pray right now, God, that your word has been received in the hearts and minds of your people, God that they are empowered, that they are encouraged, and that they are lifted up, Lord, knowing that your word is the perfect valentine for the true believer, Lord God. We ask that your word goes forth with clarity and with power, God, that someone who don't know you right now in the pardon of their sins come crying out, shouting, what must I do to be saved? Father, we thank you today. We give you glory, honor, and praise for your word that has gone forth on today. In Jesus' perfect name, we pray and give thanks. Amen and thank God. Saints of God, the Lord has been dealing with me this week. 
concerning the love of God. On yesterday and the day before, we did a message, Because I Love You, and this message just ties in to the theme of God's love. We're dealing with God's love this week, because this is, as man points out, a month of love. But the true Christian, in the eyes of the true believer, Every day should be a month of love. Every day we should be striving to love one another, to treat one another with kindness, love, and compassion. Not just on February 14th each and every year, but every day. Love thy neighbor as you love yourself. With that being said, refrain from texting while driving. No text message or cell phone call is worth your life or the lives of someone else on the road. With that being said, take care of yourselves and each other. Until next we meet, may God bless you, keep you, and forever smile upon you as our eternal and everlasting prayer. Amen.